Good morning, everyone. So, it's actually like almost 10 a.m. And I think both Tani and Phil are at work. So, I'm going to have a coffee. Um, I had a terrible sleep last night. Such a bad dream. <laughs> um, made me really sad. Like, it was so bad that I woke up out of my sleep. I was like, in shock. So, I've been awake since about 8, 8.30ish, and now I'm going to have a coffee. But other than that, I'm just kind of chilling out on the computer, trying to set up some other stuff. Um, I'm actually going to have a rest day today, even though I really don't want to, simply because I couldn't be able to leave in the house. <laughs> so, if I do any exercise, it'll be around here. Um, giving my back a massage. I'm still really tight. I had a good bath last night, which was nice. After I say goodbye to you guys, I was like, I'm going to have a bath. So I did, and that was awesome. And yeah, anyways, coffee time. Okay, so just quickly, for my coffee, I'm having a Jara Coffee Sensation Swiss Moments. 53 calories per serving. And I have two servings, because I like my coffee getting strong. Why won't you focus? Yeah, one serving is two scoops. I have four. But there are the... Fats, carbs, and proteins. No protein. Basically. Almost no protein. Next to no fat. And quite a few sugars. But other than that, it's alright. I'll be fine. Carbs are my friend for this diet. So, yeah. I will let you guys know what I think. Well, actually, I already know that I like that. But I'll let you know if I can get today's food to be according to my if it fits your macros. I will let you know. It's going to be tricky. <laughs> you, guys, you guys may have noticed by now that I've put in some cards for you guys to click on. Um, that is to a GoFundMe account that I've set up. The actual reason I have it is because I'm going to be setting up a whole bunch of online personal training stuff. Hey, what are you doing? I thought it looked cool, but apparently not. Um, oh, what is that? Is that a curl? Ooh, I don't know what that is. Anyways, um, yeah, so with that, if you um, fund me with more than $10, I don't know if I can set that up with GoFundMe, but if you do, you get a goal setting session with me. So the cards, if you want a goal setting session, um, yeah, just go and um, help me out with $10 or more. And in the future, I will have a few ebooks that I will be selling. And instead of having the GoFundMe and the You Caring accounts, I will have probably a PayPal shop or something. So get excited for that. Um, just finished my coffee. It is now 10.30. I'm thinking I'm going to study, actually. Uh, I was watching a YouTube video and I was actually really, really bad. Like, you know when you're watching a YouTube video and it's like, for a vlogger, I'm very conscientious, con conscientious, Cons I'm very conscious of the fact that you can't vlog other people without their consent. So in my like fitness footage and when I'm vlogging in public, I do try to avoid filming other people. But sometimes people just like they think quantity of content over quality of content and just kind of put out content for the sake of putting out content, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I try, I mean, I know with daily vlogs it is really hard to like constantly have something fun in my videos, but I have been trying really hard lately to like talk about things that matter and involve my exercise routine so you can see that I'm not just talking the talk, I am walking the walk, she says while still wearing her pajamas at 10.30 on a Sunday. <laughs> um, but it's Sunday and it is technically cheat day. But I'm going to try. Anyways, where was I going with this? I was going somewhere fun <laughs> with this. Um, but yeah, I just find that, like, the problem with being a YouTuber, and I found with vlogging, this is going to be a bit of a rant, I found that with vlogging, there are a lot of people who are trying to just vlog for the sake of vlogging, and I get a lot of spam comments and people saying, wow, I love your vlogs, check out mine. Because people think that vlogs are easy, and they think they can just pick up their phone and vlog. And I'm hoping to get a good camera soon for this. 
Um, actually, I think my dad's gonna send me one, but yeah. Um, I was going somewhere with this. Yeah. Um, the thing with YouTube is that you want to add like quality content. You want to add actual content to the internet. The problem for me is that I'm trying to do this honestly and legitimately and seriously. So when I make videos, I try to make videos that will improve your life in some way, shape or form. So with my beauty videos, um, they're kind of more of an entertainment thing and they're more of a like guilty self-indulgent thing. But I think, for me, it's helped me to watch beauty videos from time to time. I'm gonna put the kettle away. Um, and with my gaming channel, I try to include content that is entertaining, and I refuse to do anything clickbaity. Like I understand that a few of my thumbnails have been a bit clickbaity, but that's simply because of branding purposes. I had one video go very popular. And the thumbnail from that was a little bit clickbaity and I've been using that to my advantage so that people know that other videos are from me. And I mean, it's nothing new, like Facebook, Facebook advertisers use it all the time. You know, you'll never believe this trick for getting 10 boyfriends or whatever. Um, but yeah, I am trying very hard to legitimately do this and my vlogs, I always try to include some kind of content and not just like updating you on what I'm doing, which is hard because that's all a vlog really is, but I wouldn't want to update you on what I'm doing if it wasn't something that would help you. So telling you that I'm going and buying toothpaste, let's say, doesn't really help you because you already buy toothpaste. Telling you that I'm going and buying Swedes because they're full of vitamins, blah, blah, blah. I don't actually buy Swedes. I've never had a Swede before. But <laughs> if I said that and I told you why, that may improve your life. Well, not improve your life, but it would help you. You may learn something. So that's the thing with YouTube. You want to improve the quality and you want to inform people. You want to help people. You don't want to just be like, this is what I'm doing and I'm doing it, so you must do it. Um, yeah. And you aren't allowed to film other people without their consent. It's really difficult sometimes with daily vlogs. I try to avoid getting their faces in it, so that kind of helps because then it's just like a miscellaneous body. I've been talking for six minutes now, so I'm going to go, I'm going to put the kettle away, and I'm going to think about eating something because I still haven't eaten anything, but yeah. Okay guys, so this is an idea I got from Heidi Summers, I believe. It's 100 grams of sweet potato that I have coated in um, cinnamon, and I'm going to have two rashes of bacon because apparently that's one serving and I should have eggs as well for protein but there are no eggs so I'm gonna buy eggs for them tomorrow most likely but yeah I will let you guys know how this goes I don't have anything like sweet to put on the sweet potato um just the cinnamon so we'll see what happens <laughs> oh yeah frying it up in some olive oil do keep in mind this is a little bit of a cheat day so I mean, I'm trying not to have a cheat day so soon in the macro tracking, but it is Sunday. And I'm allowing myself to not do brilliantly at this for the first day of the diet because it is Sunday and Sunday is a cheat day. What happened there? Oh, it's starting to cook. Whoa, it's exploding. Okay, I'm just gonna show you because I think the other pieces are gonna explode now too. I think you know when sweet potatoes cooked because it like pops up. Okay, so you can see this one here. Focus camera, focus. It's got a split in it because it's exploded and then this one has gone and popped up as well. I wish you guys had seen that because it like exploded. It was awesome. Not like it exploded, but it like popped up like popcorn. So now I'm gonna add my bacon. Might flip these one more time. See if it helps. Oh, look, it's cooking. Oh, whoops, it's overcooked. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. That explains a few things. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, there's oil all over my phone and all over pretty much everything, but sweet potato taste test. It's not 
so bad. This is one of the really burnt ones. I can't really taste the cinnamon. Okay, so breakfast was pretty good. I had to do the sweet potato for a little bit longer on a low heat with like a lid on because it was um, crunchy on the inside. And I noticed that by doing that, it gets more cinnamony. So, so now I'm back in bed and I'm gonna do some study. There is a desk in this room. I could use the desk. It would make a lot of sense. But I'm not going to. So, yeah. Last night I got some study done as well, which was really good. I got to like, I got through two tests. Because the way the course that I'm doing now is, like the way it's formatted is you've got text and then you've got a test. Text and test. Text and test. And there is an ongoing assignment, which I haven't really even started, which is a reflection journal, or reflective journal. Which... Yeah. What do you mean, blue tick? I finished that. I don't understand this sometimes. So now, I'm gonna continue with it all. Create a meme. I didn't do that. Oh well. Anyways, I am going to... Do some study. If I find anything interesting that I want to share with you, then I will. Okay? Okay, guys. So it's 2.40. It's almost 3 p.m. And I... I've done quite a bit of study. But guess what I totally haven't done? Eat. So, I guess I should do that. I have a whole bunch of macros that I need to eat. <laughs> um, I need mainly protein. So I might have a protein shake. I hope Tani doesn't mind. But I'm going to have a protein shake. Might put banana into it. And I might have some chicken and veg. Because... I don't know, I just feel like that might do it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I hope it works. We'll see. So I ended up having chicken and veg and then found out that if I would have my protein shake as well, I would go over my protein limit. Um, but I'm well and truly under my carb limit. And I am well and truly under my calorie allowance, if you will. So, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> this is hard. This is really hard. It's stressful. I might have... I don't know. I don't know. I guess I could have... I don't know. I might have an orange. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's really tricky. Yeah. That's that. I'm having a donut, but my macros say I can. Not bad. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog there. It is now 7 o'clock. I haven't finished eating. Um, according to my macros anyways, but I couldn't be bothered going downstairs and making myself something to eat. So I'm gonna have a shower and probably maybe do some more study and go to sleep. I don't know. Um, I was going somewhere with this. Yeah, anyways, you guys will see me tomorrow when I hopefully fill out my macros properly. Like eat them all or something. I don't know. Um, I was like, what the hell is that? But it's my foot. Um, anyways, you guys will see me tomorrow, so I hope you're having an amazing day, or morning, or evening, or whatever time it is for you, and you'll see me then, okay?